Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I create doodles and effects in my video. So here's an example of some effects that I like to add and I also do the same with text. So this is just something that I've recently started doing and it's just something that I think gives a more personal touch to my videos and it's just something I like doing. So yeah, this is what I like to do and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this in today's video. I've actually had a few people in the comments ask me how I do this. So yeah, I hope this will help you guys. If it does, give it a thumbs up, please. It really does help. In today's video, what I'm gonna be using is my iPad. Now I know not everyone has an iPad, but this is the main thing that I use to edit my videos. This is kind of my laptop kind of situation. So I do everything on here. I edit my videos on here. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Now don't be discouraged if you don't have an iPad. You can do this on your phone as well. So I'm gonna start off by giving you some alternative options if you don't have an iPad. So first off, let me just say the software that I use to create my doodles is called Procreate and it's not free. It is a app you have to pay for but it is my favorite app to use on my iPad and I edit using Luma Fusion and that is also an app that you need to pay for. So for people who don't have money to buy apps or people who don't want to spend any money on apps things like that or just have their phone to work with that is fine as well. I have some alternative options for you guys as well. So if you are doing everything on your phone I have two other alternative apps for creating the doodles. So one is Autodesk Sketchbook which is a free app that you can use and you can create some cool things on there. Let me know if you want a tutorial on that in the future. And then you also have Adobe Sketch that you can use to also create some doodles and things like that. That's something I like using as well, especially when I just had my phone. For editing, obviously you have so many free apps. iMovie is a great app that you can use on iPhone. So yeah, you also have that. And also the Autodesk and the Adobe Sketch is also available on iPad, obviously as free alternatives to Procreate. But yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how how I do this and the basic concept of how to create these doodles since it is, doesn't really matter what apps you use or what software you use, it just matters the kind of technique that you use. Since the method that I use actually applies to each and every app that you might be using. So yeah, that's enough rambling. Let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so here is my tablet setup. So as you can see here at the top I have LumaFusion. This is my editing software that I use. Then here at the bottom, you'll see in my dock, I have Procreate right here. And this is what I'm gonna be using to create the doodles. Now, first off, let's just take a look at the other things I recommended. So here in the productivity folder I have here, I also have Autodesk Sketchbook that I mentioned. So this is also a great app. So this is what Autodesk Sketchbook looks like. So you have all your pencils here at the side as you can see here so there are a bunch that you can choose from um, I think if you want a more doodly effect you can also maybe like go for a charcoal kind of effect maybe so here you can see there's a chalk pastel and you have others you can choose from things like that you also just have a plain pencil and something I think that can really help anyone is if you are writing as you can see it's a little hard to manage the way you write I'm just gonna take a clearer pen so here you can see it's a little hard to manage, but you can then go here in the top right to this icon here, it looks like a little S. Tap on that and you can go make it higher or lower predictive text and this just makes it more smooth and easier to control your strokes. As you can see, just makes it look prettier. So if I say, hey, It'll just make it look cuter and more neat. So that's just something. But yeah, we're not going to go into this right now. Let's go to our main app that is Procreate. So here I am in Procreate. As you can see, I use Procreate for a lot of things. My own designs, um, just having fun with a few things or just creating thumbnails, things like that. I always use Procreate for everything. So let's create a new canvas. So I'm going to click on this plus button and click on screen size it doesn't really matter which one i think i'm going to go with thumbnail since that is the youtube video size click on that and now i have my blank canvas now what you can do is take snapshots of your video and then import that into procreate so that you know exactly where your text has to be but i'm not going to do that since i already know where i want my text to be i can just move it around once i'm in my 
video editor, which I usually do. So yeah, we're just gonna go with this and then I'm gonna choose a brush. Now, usually I just go with a monoline or something that I also like using is dry ink. It gives a cool effect. So I think I'm gonna go with white. And just to make it easier, I'm gonna make the background color black just for now, because we're gonna erase the background later since we don't we want to have a transparent image. Something that I do to make sure I write neatly is I turn on the canvas borders. So I click here on this tool here, go to canvas and select drawing guide. As you can see, it brings up this grid. So then I know exactly how to write and if I'm writing neatly in a straight line or not. So that's just a quick tip. But yeah, so once we're in here, let's get started on creating some cool doodles. So something that I often like to do is just create some star effects. So I'm just gonna make this smaller. Again, with the same with the Autodesk is here in Procreate. What I like to do, I'm gonna click here on the brush area, select my brush here, tap on that. Streamline just makes it way easier to control. So if I have it on 0%, so none, here you can see if I start creating a straight line, that's what it looks like. Turning on Streamline just makes it easier to control. It's just more fluent, as you can see, way easier, way better. So yeah, I always turn on Streamline, just makes everything easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create some doodles here. This is something I always like to do in my videos. It just creates a cool effect in boring areas. Like a lot of time I have to film on a desk surface and putting some doodles on the desk just makes it look cooler. So I just play around with that. I'm gonna add some text first as well. So I'm gonna create a new layer and just say iPhone. I know that's kind of like a broad term, but that's just what most of my videos are about. So I'm just going to go ahead and say iPhone and like so. So I have my text here now. So now let's start making this look animated. So I'm going to start with the text. So what I like to do to give it that animated look, I'm going to click on layers and create a new layer. I'm going to lower the opacity of this layer that has my text here. I'm going to click on that N and lower the opacity just a bit so I can still see it kind of. And then in this layer that's empty, I go over that. And the whole idea is you're not going to write the exact same every single time. So it's going to look a little different, maybe look a little more bouncy in some areas. So that is the same idea. You maybe want to move around it a bit so it doesn't look the exact same. So you have that. I'm first going to hide this stars layer. And then I'm going to bring back the opacity of this layer. I'm just going to hide it. So now what I do is I'm going to save that. So I'm going to take away the background color. I'm going to turn that layer off since I don't want a background. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on share and save as a PG and then save image. I'm going to do the same with the other layer, PNG and save image. You can do this how many times you want. I usually just have two layers of text. You can go with a third as well if you want to have an even more bouncy effect. Let's do a third. Let's see how a third will look. I'm going to go again and write my text like so and then just save that layer. You don't want to move the text around because you want it to be kind of on the same spot. I'll show you guys why that is later. Okay, so that is everything with the text. Now with the stars, you can go two ways. You can also do the same thing, lower the opacity, create a new layer over that, and then just go over the exact same area and create some different looking stars, but on exactly the same area. So that's something you can do. It can look really cool and bounce around, um, but also something you can do. So that's our one layer, or you can... Click on the plus button and create some stars on different areas so it'll look like it bounces around a bit. So don't make it on the exact same layers or area of that layer. So that can also look really cool and bouncy effect. So yeah, let's just do that. So I'm going to show you guys both of these in the video editor. So I'm just going to take away this. I'm going to save all three of these layers of stars. So I'm going to save all of these as PNGs. Remember to bring back up the opacity 
otherwise it might look weird. Okay, now we're gonna go into our editor where you can actually see why I did why, what I did. So I'm gonna go into Luma Fusion again. You can use your any editor that you want. So say I wanna add these doodles over this area. So as you can see here is the video that I made. I hit all edit and whatnot. Here is an example of one I did, some of the text. But I'm going to add the ones that we just made to this video. So I'm going to go into my photos here and I'm going to choose these. As you can see, it's kind of weird because you can't see them, but I can preview them like so. I'm going to drag them in and I'm going to change. I'm going to change their position and then I'm just going to make it shorter. I usually go for about 10 to 15 milliseconds. I think it's milliseconds. And then I'm going to add the next one. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wing it and try to get over it. What I'm going to do is going to click on this text and I'm going to save this as a preset. So what that means is the size and position that this text will be. If I paste it onto this text, it will be the exact same. So I guess with some editors, this can be hard, but some editors, it's really easy. You can just copy and paste the properties of this clip over to this one. So position and size and everything. So I'm just going to go here to my presets area and just find that motion that I just added. I have a few here. Okay, so now you can see we have that effect already. I'm going to make this shorter again then add my third layer of iPhone and again I'm just gonna paste that property over here so yeah this is where the fact comes in where you might want to take a screenshot of your video and then just doodle over that to get a reference since if you don't want to have to move it every time or copy and paste a property and you just want to add it over your video and it will look great so if you understand what I mean that's kind of where you have to choose which is easier for you. This is just the easiest way for me since I can just copy and paste properties. So now I have this here. Now some editors will make this step way easier, some won't. Mine is one that won't. So what you can do is you can just copy and paste these three clips the entire time. But sadly my editor won't let me do that. I have to duplicate one at a time. So I just click on the clip, duplicate, and then just drag it and then go with a second one, duplicate and drag, then duplicate and drag. And then I repeat that step the entire time. I know it can be a little annoying if your editor is also like this, but um, the effect at the end looks really cool, so I don't really mind it. So I'm just gonna continue doing this until I have my finished look, and I'll get back to you guys then. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with this little part. So if I play this video, I'm just gonna lower my volume. So I'm just gonna play it, and this is what it looks like. So it gives it that bouncing effect. Okay, so we have that. Now, I'm just gonna delete some of these so I have space for the stars. So like the stars like I said so I'm just gonna position these again and create a preset for these so um, that I don't have to search for them the entire time okay so I have that then I'm gonna add my other stars first I need to shorten this to 10 or shorter I'm gonna drag in my next one shorten that and then add my preset so it's the same size and the same position and I'm gonna keep on duplicating this until I have my effect okay so here's the first star effect this is the one with the alternating star so it's not in the exact same position so that is what it looks like you might want to slow it down a bit because um, it looks kind of fast but yeah so that's the first kind of way you can do it the other way let me just show you guys so this effect gives it like it's standing in one position and just moving around like so so that's basically the gist of how i create these doodles now just in a recap so you guys have a full understanding i go to procreate i create my text layer so this one or let's go with the bottom one this one i lower its opacity i create a new layer and I trace over it so it has kind of roughly the same look as the first one. Then again, I lower the opacity of this one, create a new layer so it has the same kind of look. So it's really easy, really simple. 
that's how you alternate between them. Here you can see all three layers over each other. You can do this with text, you can do this with doodles, you can do this with anything. It's really simple, really easy. And I just hope this could help you guys create some cool content. Again, you have other options as well, other apps that also do the exact same thing. And once I have my text or my doodles, I go into LumaFusion or whatever editor you use. I bring in the text, I position it, and then I do the exact same with the alternate one for that. So yeah, I just copy and paste the property so it's roughly at the same position. I don't have to position it every time, I can just copy and paste. And then I have my desired look. I hope you guys understand. Let me know in the comments if there's any misunderstanding. So yeah, that was my video on how to create cool handwritten effects. I hope it helped you. And if it did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know what your thoughts are. Definitely subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other YouTube tips and tricks videos, so other tutorials and things like this. And click on the video to my previously uploaded video. I love you guys so much. Be weird and be proud of it. Bye.